Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and today is a haul video. So I did some thrifting this weekend. Um, I went to a thrift store, a couple yard sales, um, an estate sale. So this is everything all in one video and um, everything's still in bags and wrapped. So we're gonna open everything together and we're gonna start with what's in my lap which I got, I went to a yard sale, and I found this. It's a beautiful bank from Germany. All the petals are intact, um, except the tip of that one right there, and I think the back of this is a little chipped, but it's just like the glaze. Um, and the bottom, it comes with a key. She taped the key to the bottom. So I thought that was really cute. This I got for $2. Put it over here, I've gotta make some room. And then I got These individual ashtrays, vintage, made in Japan. I know people don't really, I mean, in my opinion, people don't really buy the vintage ashtrays, um, like the little ones like this. However, you can use them for tea bags or like flavored oils, you know, dip bread in or something. So there's uh, many different other ways you can use these. And it says Japan on the bottom. Oh, the bank will probably go in my antique booth for maybe like $12. And these will also go in my antique booth for probably 12 or 15. These I got for a dollar. And then I grabbed this for my husband to put on his eBay. Um, it is full. I don't know if it's a full set. I, I mean, I don't really know anything about Connects other than they go for pretty good money. Um, but there is a manual in there and she gave it to me for $3. So I was able to get everything for a $5 bill. <laughs> so three, no, it was $6. So I can't do math. Anyway, that'll go to my hubby and he'll put that on his eBay. We have to look up pricing still on that because we're not really sure. Oh, you guys saw my dog in the window. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, so he's enjoying the weather. So um, next, you guys um, have seen the uh, thrift with me and that was at a um, thrift store that benefits the homeless animals. Um, about 25 minutes from me. I went with my cousin and I got a lot of stuff. I was very excited. So they had so much stuff. Everything was like half the store was outside. Um, and then there was everything inside. It was really great. Everything in the store was half off. They do this, um, sale monthly. I take, I found out, which is great because I'll definitely be going every month. Um, so I, Got this cool little retro napkin holder, like diner napkin holder. Um, it is a remake. It's 1996, but it is from the Homer Lachlan company. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it was $2.99, so half off of that. I guess I'm gonna start piling up the stuff on my table here. That will go in my booth also um, for probably 20 or 25. I got these cute little cats, wood carved cats. And if you guys saw my last thrift haul um, from this place, I went last weekend as well. Um, I had the, there were similar cats like this, but they were um, sitting up. So I saw these guys and I had to get them and they were two bucks each, half off. Um, and they will go in my booth as well, probably like eight bucks a piece. Oh, here's my receipt. I need to keep that. 
Um, I spent a total of $38.63, but 15 of it was um, a shirt. I bought their t-shirt um, and that goes, uh, that's like a donation for them. And that was not half off, so, um, you know, that which was fine. I bought it to help out, but um, that was half, <laughs> that was half my uh, total. So then I got, of course, you know me, I got a ton of animal figurines. Let me just make sure I don't drop any because she told me she wrapped them all together as one almost rolls off the couch. Okay, so these little guys are a, are a set, I should say. Well, you don't have to buy them as a set. I'm not going to sell them as a set, but they're little kittens. So cute. Meow, meow. And they were... Um, a dollar each but half off so I thought they were super cute they'll go in my booth for about five bucks each I like to keep um, smalls in my booth um, just a lot of people like to go to antique malls and like just they just have to buy something anything so I like to have like little inexpensive items um, that they can just purchase on a whim and then I saw this little guy and I was like, oh my God, he is the cutest. Well, his little pig butt. <laughs> um, and then I looked at his head and he's a shaker. So right next to him, I found his mate, this little cutie. And there's the maker, I mean, the holes for the pepper. Nope, that's salt. This one's pepper. And these are made in Taiwan. I don't think they were ever used, but a dollar each, but half off. And they are just the cutest. I do really well with um, animal salt and pepper shakers in my booth, so those will probably, I'll probably do like 10 on those. Okay. So then I was in the jewelry, to, the jewelry section where they have like all, like the counters of jewelry, but their jewelry was not half off. Um, I didn't see anything that I really would have wanted anyway, but I did see this sitting on the counter. And this is a Balik mantle clock with the um, clovers there on the front and the little stamp on the back and half off of $3, can't beat that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to get into it to replace the battery. I mean, I would hope you wouldn't have to take off the felt uh, maybe you just pop out the face. I'm not really sure. I'll have to um, figure that out. But if anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> so that'll go in my booth definitely for, uh, I have to look that up. That might, that might even go for like 30 bucks. I'll have to see. Then I found this adorable vintage poodle figurine. So cute. He was half off a dollar, so 50 cents. Um, he'll probably be like six bucks in my booth. And if anyone's interested in anything, you guys know the drill. Another chance resale one at gmail.com. And we can work out a price. And then I found this cute little guy. Look at that face. He's a little, um, I forget the name of these dogs. I want to say... Oh my gosh, I can see it in my head, but I can't figure, I can't name it. You guys will tell me. But he was half off of two. Cocker Spaniel, is that, that what I'm thinking of? <laughs> All right. Oh, what's the matter? I'm talking about a d another dog. <laughs> then I found this pretty vase with the little um, squirrel sitting on the branch right there. And this is 22 karat gold. And it was only 50 cents. Can't beat that, no chips or cracks. So that'll go in my booth as well for probably like 16. Then I saw these two um, magnets. And I believe this is Felix the cat, am I right? 
babe? Yeah. Yeah, like saying that. I went with my cousin and we could not think of who it was for the life of us. I'm like, it looks familiar. I know who this is. We're, I'm gonna get him anyway. And I'm not sure, was there a white guy? I don't know. Why are they two different colors? I don't know. Maybe they were hand painted and they didn't finish the other one. <laughs> I don't care. I thought they were cute anyway and they were a dollar a piece. So a dollar for both. Can't go wrong with that. And then, okay, we're done with that bag. Then I saw this. Um, this is going to go to a friend. Um, it's a ring holder. So and that was half off of two. Put that on the side. All right. <laughs> then I got these. <laughs> so if you guys, um, I don't really look at like dishes and plates and stuff like that. Um, I've said it in the past. I just don't have the space in my apartment. They're very heavy to ship. Um, so it means very expensive. So I kind of stay away. I'll pick, I'll, um, peek at stuff just to see if there's anything like worth it. But, um, you guys should keep on the lookout for, um, melamine or melmac. And it's like a type of plastic, but like really like hard, you know, really hard plastic. Um, these are by Threshold. I feel like I know that brand, but anyway, they're melamine, um, dishwasher safe, but not microwave. Um, and they're just little like, I call them monkey dishes. I don't know if they have a special specific name for them, but um, what I use these for is like when you're cooking and like you're um, chopping different ingredients up, you put them in these bowls, like kind of like, <laughs> kind of like how the chefs do on TV and they'll have like all the bo little bowls lined up and they can just like throw it right into whatever they're making so it's like kind of like a prep thing or i use them for applesauce if i have like applesauce with dinner or um like a little salad if you want to have like a coleslaw or something so um definitely a lot of different uses for these and i got eight of them and they were a quarter a piece so i mean that's an awesome price i'll probably um I don't know if I'll put these online or in my booth. I'll have to think about it, but I'll s sell them as sets of four like this with different colors, probably for like 15 or so per set. <laughs> Watching mommy's video. <laughs> oh, as my bag tips over. Then I got this mug. I thought it was so cute with the little cat on the front. And it was giving me very like Aztec Southwest vibes for some reason, like desert vibes, like I guess like the color of the um, ceramic there. And it's got a beautiful brown glaze and there's no markings on it anywhere. So I'm not sure who makes it, but it was only 50 cents. So I can't beat that. And I'll put this in my booth as well for probably like 12 bucks. <laughs> then you guys know <laughs> if you guys have seen my past few thrift hauls you'll know that I've been picking up um, cheese shakers and the first one that I put in my booth not too long ago sold within the week because I go to my booth every weekend to replenish and it was gone the next week and then I put another one in there last weekend um, I haven't gone to my booth yet so I'm not sure if that sold yet either however I saw this one sitting at the thrift shop and I just had to get it. It's so big. I love it. it. Doesn't say who makes it or anything, but I mean, how can you leave that behind? So cool. And it was half of 2.99. So this <laughs> this will also go in my booth for probably I'll probably put 18 on that one cuz I think the other ones are at the other ones sold for like 15, I think so that one's a little bit bigger then I got this ornament I wish they had more but they didn't um, it's a 
I think it might be ceramic. I'm not sure. It doesn't say, does it? No. But it's a teacup ornament with a painted little mural on the side there. And look who's inside. A little doggy. He's so cute. He's a little um, Frenchy. Little French bulldog in there. You can't really see him because of the ribbon. But I just thought that was a really cute ornament. And for a dollar, can't go wrong. So I will put this in my booth. Um, the first weekend of November is when I start transforming my booth into like Christmas stuff. So I will save that for the first weekend of November and probably charge like 12 bucks for that. Okay, here is the t-shirt that I bought. So that's the name of the place, I guess. I never actually knew the name of it, to be honest. <laughs> Because I, I just call it the thrift shop on Route 376. Um, so I bought this for $15. I always like to show my support. And I love wearing um, t-shirts, especially on the weekends. Then I found two pairs of gloves that are brand new. And these are by the brand Totes. They make a lot of like outdoor stuff and like rain Proof, uh, waterproof stuff like rain stuff um, boots and coats and stuff like that and I found these gloves two pairs they're a little bit different from each other um, but they're brand new with the tag still on the inside with a $22 price tag and I got them for a dollar each so I think this will be great to put on my put in my eBay store um, especially now, this is October, people are shopping for Christmas. So um, people will be shopping on eBay for new with tag items um, that they can gift cheaper than buying them in the store. So that's what I'll do. I'll put these on eBay, new with tag, totes, 100% leather gloves. And I sold a couple pair of these last year actually, and they sold pretty quickly. So I was excited to find those. Those I have to list like immediately. <laughs> no waiting around to list that stuff. Then I found this. This is black glass or amethyst glass. It um, was made during the depression era. And um, if you hold this up to the light like closely, it's actually purple. That's why they call it amethyst glass. But looking at it just like this, it looks just like black glass. So it's called either one. Um, and it was only 50 cents and I love depression glass. Um, it does not, it does not resell for like anything anymore. And it's really sad because if you guys have seen depression glass it is beautiful. They have the yellow and the pink and the blue and the green and then the uranium glass that glows in the dark and the Vaseline glass that glows in the dark. Oh, it's so beautiful with all the different patterns. I have a ton of books over there that I bought to learn all the patterns because I was buying a lot of it, but it unfortunately doesn't really sell. So I have a lot of it in my, in my cabinets. We actually use it here in the apartment. I just think it's so pretty. So this will go on eBay. Um, I have another one similar to this. So I'll just add it, um, not to the same listing, but um, probably only for like 12 bucks since it doesn't really go for very much, unfortunately. Then they had, um, where I got this ornament, they had a couple other ornaments and I saw this one and for some reason I just really liked it. Um, I know it's not really Christmassy, but it's still really pretty if somebody has like a gold theme and it was only 50 cents. So I will put this in my booth for the first weekend of November. I have a shelf that goes along one whole side of one of the walls and um, my husband stuck nails like every, I think maybe six inches maybe, um, sticking out of the shelf on the edge. So during Christmas time, we hang, you know, like the bigger ornaments all along the shelf. So this will be one of them. And I'll probably only put like five bucks on that. And ornaments fly out of my booth for Christmas time. Um, I usually price all my ornaments at like a dollar because where I get them from is another thrift store that benefits the animals. <laughs> um, and they do, I think I've said this before also, 
Uh, if you've ever seen the organic lettuce, like the mixed spring mix, like the mixed greens or spring mix, I think it's called, and it's in like the plastic rectangle containers, like the lids, they have a ton of those and they fill them with all kinds of ornaments. You, most of them are vintage and they'll sell them for like two to five dollars for the big container of ornaments. So I like to go there to find all my Christmas ornaments and I mean, they're like probably 10 cents a piece by the time you um, like add them all up and divide by how much you spent on the container. So I can sell my ornaments for a buck a piece and still make an excellent profit and they sell. So. That's my little rant <laughs> about what I do with ornaments. Um, I have this vase. I saw it on the shelf, like on the bottom. I thought it was beautiful. It's a very thick wood and it is carved, right? It looks like somebody actually with, with my nails is like, <laughs> like a big bear or something. Um, it is not marked at all, but it is in excellent condition. Um, it's just some of the sawdust from the inside is right there. I thought it was paint um, And this was two dollars can't go wrong. I love the prices of this place like I would spend The prices that they ask without it even being 50% off. I think it's great So that I'll probably put in my booth for probably 18 or so Last piece now, another thing that does not really sell very well is carnival glass. Um, there are some, there is some carnival glass that does sell. The certain colors, like the cobalt, if the glass itself is cobalt blue, and then like the carnival glass, it, that usually does a little bit better. Um, but usually, it's very hard to tell like the new style versus the older style because there's a lot of remakes. So I usually stay away from the carnival glass. However, I saw this vase and I couldn't leave it. Why? Because not only is there, are there flowers? I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit better. There's roses on that side. It kind of reminds me of the rose from Beauty and the Beast. And then look at this side. It's like, the devil or somebody <laughs> I just thought that was very interesting and very unique and I don't think I've ever seen carnival glass with such a evil looking creature on it but like it, it's like intriguing so you probably put like some really like strong like scotch in here or something and call it el diablo <laughs> So I'll put that in my booth, or you can use it as a vase because there's no stopper. I think it is supposed to be a decanter, but that's okay. It's a vase now, and I'll probably put like 15 on that. Okay. Yeah, that'd be the uh, ice cream trucks coming. <laughs> ice cream. Okay. Next place um, is another yard sale. So this place we actually went today, making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, we found we were in a different area and I have the app. Uh, I think it's called Yard Sale Treasure Map app and um, get it if you don't have it. And it's like the app, the map app. <laughs> where you can like put directions in on your phone. It looks just like that, but it shows you all of the tag sales in your area. And it links up with Craigslist. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Craigslist, but if the person um, advertised their sale on Craigslist, this basically just puts all of those ads into a map so you can see like what's around you. So I found this one here. My husband got a few things at this sale um, but it's mostly like for himself, so I'm not gonna show that. However, I did get this Bobby. Now it's not vintage, however, oh my God, her outfit's so cute. Um, we have one Barbie, we have two Barbies, 
we have three Barbies. And then what's really cool, which actually is what sold me on it, is there's shoes and purses in here. There's a little, a little dude, I should say a little girl. There's shoes and um, all kinds of accessories in here. There's another little girl, another little girl. We have a baby <laughs> and we have a cat and a dog. Okay, and then one better. Um, she said, because I picked that up, and she said, well, um, I'll do $5 if you take the other, the other piece, too. And, um, I just thought it was a box. I was like, oh, I don't want this. It's just, like, a play dresser or whatever. Like, she's like, no, there's accessories in it. And I'm like... Look how cool. So, there's shoes in here. There's, like, um, hair like a blow dryer, none of it like actually works, obviously, but there's food in here. They're not real food. <laughs> so there's so much stuff in here. I was just like, okay, deal. So I don't really know how much all this stuff goes for anymore, but I will be lotting it, you know, into different lots of things and putting it on eBay. Okay, of course somebody has to be leaf blowing while I'm doing this video. Then I found a couple pair of jeans. Um, these ones are men's jeans. Uh, these are designer, well not really designer, but they're Guess, which is a good brand. I actually really like that brand. And they're the, the relaxed straight fit. And they are a 33-32. And they're a little bit distressed, like right there. And on the back. So I thought those were cool. Um, these were two bucks. So I'll put them on my eBay for probably like 25. Then I saw these, the bottoms of these jeans, I thought was very boho, um, hippie kind of. And I looked at the brand and they're Ann Taylor, which it's a good company, uh, mall brands, like it's a higher end mall brand. Um, but they're in really great shape, and they're actually a, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry if that's really loud. Um, they're actually a crop, so it's like, it, they stop right above the ankle, so I thought that was really cute. You can wear them with, like, some fun wedge sandals, or even, like, a booty for, like, a heeled booty for the winter, so... I thought those were cute, and these are a size eight, two dollars. So I'll probably put them on eBay for like twenty, mm, probably like twenty. Then I got these. That's probably really loud, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, I'll try to hurry up. <laughs> so these are by the brand Soft which is a very comfortable shoe brand and the lady said she only wore them once and i might have to stop the video because this is really loud okay let's try this again i think he stopped <laughs> for now so these the lady said she wore them once um but she said they were very comfortable however the heel was just too high for her so she charged me three dollars for these they're size nine and a half and they are real leather very cute so i will probably i think these may go for like 20 23 maybe on ebay and i'll put them on poshmark too then i saw this i just thought this was cute for the booth um i just have to get that sticker residue off of there and give it a nice cleaning Oh, I think it goes that way. Well, whatever. Um, it's a little stained glass piece, like a little uh, sun catcher, and it was only a dollar. So um, I'll put this in my booth for probably 14 Oh, this was something you picked out, Gabe. Um, all right, well, this was from a different sale anyway, so I'm not going to go over that. So then I went to... 
Where did, I think I'm missing some stuff. It might still be in my car. However, I went to another yard sale and I got some art and the, so I don't like when people don't put prices on things because I don't like asking them how much it is because if it's more than I want to pay, I have to be like, oh, sorry, you know, I'm not going to take this. Oh wait, I see one more thing that came from the yard sale we were just at. We were just at, <laughs> I just showed you. Um, this beautiful brass etched vase made in India, of course. Um, I was gonna get two, there was another one just like it, but she said there were five a piece, so I was like, hmm, see, this is why I, I don't really like when they don't put prices on it. So, and plus it had like a, a weird mark on it, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm not gonna take the one, I'll just take this one for five. So I'll put this in my booth as well, probably for like 18. It's super heavy. Um, yeah, I definitely am missing a couple things from this tag, this next tag sale, whatever, yard sale. Anyway, so um, they didn't have prices at this place either, and I was kind of nervous to ask, um, but then somebody else had asked. They had a really large, very well-made wooden table, um, like very nice wood with six chairs, and the lady, some lady's like, oh, how much do you want for the table? And he says, 10 bucks. I was like, $10? I go to my cousin, I'm like, all right, the prices are gonna be good. Let me grab everything that I want. <laughs> so I grab this. It's a painting, it's actually a painting, it's not a print. And I ask him, how much for this? And he says, how about a buck? I said, sold. <laughs> so I got this, it's like a jazz abstract painting. It is not signed. However, it was mounted very nicely. The frame says made in Mexico, but I don't know. I just thought it was so pretty. So I'm gonna put this in my booth as well. There goes the leaf blower again. Um, I don't know how much, probably like 50 bucks. And then I got this one. It's not gonna fit in the frame, but this one was also a dollar. And this one is signed, but we looked up the artist and on eBay, nothing came up. So it's probably just like a local artist or maybe even the person that lived there painted it, not sure. But this one was a dollar also. And then I had gotten um, a little wooden box with I think it's the Taj Mahal painted on it, like a really nice painting. Um, and the it was black lacquer and the inside is red. And she only charged me a dollar for that. And it looked brand new, brand new. And then I picked out, she had the woman that was at this, that was running the sale too, had a bunch of, I think they're just neckties, like they're scarves, but they're thin and they're short. So I'm guessing like they just tied like to the side, like in, you know, you just wore it as like a choker, like this almost, I guess. Um, and she had a Tiffany & Co one. So I picked out that one. It's blue with like, you know, her little logos and whatever. So um, I asked how much and a dollar a piece. So a dollar for the wood box and a dollar for the Tiffany scarf. And I was like, this is excellent. <laughs> so I definitely got both of those. And the, um, I got something else because it came to $5, but it must still be in my car. Anyway, moving on, I went to an estate sale today with my husband and I got an entire box of stuff. Okay, let me move this. Okay, so this entire box filled $12. $12 for the entire box. So now let's show you what's in the box. So this is a real fur hat. <laughs> My husband goes, oh, it's perfect for you because you always wear a bun. I said, yeah, that's excellent. So it goes like that. Um, I sell, I, I do pretty well with selling um, hats in my booth, like vintage hats. So this will go in my booth for probably 20 bucks. 
And then I got, uh, I don't want to break anything. Then I got this hat. Very cute, some velvet and satin. And this is by, I have to look up the brand. It's by um, Eddie, hats by, hats by Eddie, Fifth Avenue, Arnold Constable, New York. So I have to look that up, but I got that one as well. Depending on what they go for on eBay, probably like 18 or 20. Then I got these two mugs, which I thought were super cool. I love the handle, how it's like lower, and then it has like that scroll. So cool. And I'm pretty sure they're brand new. So I got those. We'll go in my booth as well for probably 10 bucks a piece. Uh, what can I grab out of here? I got this. Now, the woman who owned the house was really into ceramics. She had all her, um, like, like the hobby, like making painting ceramic things. She had a whole room of stuff that she had created and it was beautiful. Everything looked as if you would buy them in the store. Like it was, it was so amazing, the work. I just, I didn't even think someone did it. I thought it was, you know, from a store. And th like, this is something she did. And they're all signed on the bottom, Weiss. And this reminds me of something that a, a couple other resellers had found. And I think even Jocelyn um, from Crazy Lamp Lady had found something like this too. And it was like super expensive. So I don't know if this is just like a, like she did a remake of it. But this will go in my booth for probably like 30 bucks. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Put it in between the pillows. <laughs> okay, then I got this super cool, like Southwest Aztec vibe mug. Again, looks brand new. Oh, it actually it actually says Navajo. So that's cool. Um, I'll put this in my booth too for probably twelve. Let's get this out. Okay. So I got this little Kramer guy. This is something else that she had created, or I should say painted. The little boop boop. And the bottom is signed Weiss. So that's cute. And then I got the little salt and peppers to match. So cute. These will probably be 12 in my booth. And then these guys, salt and peppers, will go in the first week of November for my Christmas um, little display. Those will probably be like eight bucks. And this will go in the first week of November as well. This um, is like a little sled. You can put fruit in here or nuts or anything like that, a plant even. And she did this one too. <clears throat> so that will probably be like 25 in the booth. Then she did these. She had a ton of these frogs. And they have like the glaze. So I got one small one, one big one, Weiss. I'll probably put them in my booth for like eight and five. God, I have so much stuff in front of me right now. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do this week. Then I found this cute little deer and his and her babies on the chain, little art glass. Not that you guys can really see, but um, I might keep these for me. I don't, I don't know yet. 
They're just so little and dainty, I'd be afraid someone would break them in my booth. Um, or shipping them. And then my husband picked out this little guy. A little walrus. Very cute. Now he does have a sticker on the back. Banel something, Japan. Not that you guys can see it, but I'll have to look more into it, but he'll go in my booth as well for probably five or eight if it's a good brand. Then we have this pretty trinket box with the, yep, it's transfer wear, but it's ceramic. And it's marked Japan on the bottom. And the inside is a beautiful red velvet. How cute. So this will go in my booth as well for probably 12 or 14. I'm running out of space. Where am I gonna put it? Okay. Then I found this guy. He needs a bath, he's very dirty. This is a uh, Scotty, I think. They always look like boys to me because of their, their beard. <laughs> okay. Then I found some jewelry. I found, they had, she had a bunch of brooches, but a lot of them were broken or missing stones. But I did get this little ballerina with the faux pearl. And none of them are marked either. And then I got this little doggy. She had another one of this dog, but um, the gold tone was wearing off a lot, so I didn't get it. And he has a little blue rhinestone eye. So these, I can put these in my booth if nobody wants them from the video. And then I got this hair clip, but look at that center. It's almost like a cloisonne because it's got like the metal and the enamel. Oh, it's so pretty. And the back. And I'll probably put these for like, um, I don't know, like five or eight dollars in my booth. And then I got this, so I'm gonna take it out because it looks really interesting to me. Mm. It's kind of not in good shape, so I don't know what to do. He's like a little road runner, I think. And I'm pretty sure that that's turquoise in there. However, it's definitely got some verdigris. So I'm not really sure what to do with this. What do you guys think? See the legs? Like that's, that's not good. <laughs> and then the clasp is like, I mean, I could try to clean it with my sterling wipes um i don't know i'll have to really look like figure this out because i don't know what to do with it it definitely didn't look like it was in this bad of shape in the little package here it came in this so i will put that back in here and i will if you guys have any advice or if anyone's interested in it let me know all right then she had a box of stuff that was four for a dollar. So I picked out, she had three of these little baskets. So I picked out the three. I'll probably sell them as a set in my booth for like five bucks. Um, they all open, um, but they're held closed with like a little string, which I think they're really cute. You can put like a little potpourri in them in like different rooms of your house or use them as jewelry boxes, like little trinket boxes. And then I got this as my fourth item. Just a little Asian tassel. I'll put that in my booth also for like five bucks. 
so that was cool and then oh I, I saw this too um in the jewelry box where I picked out my picked out those brooches so I'm not really sure what it is I'm guessing it's like a, maybe a headband because it does stretch um and I love the Thunderbird right here very cool it could be I guess you can no you can't I guess you can wear it as a bracelet, but you can't really see. I would wear it as a headband. It looks like the perfect size for a headband. Too big for a choker. Um, but yeah, if anyone knows really what this is for, <laughs> you can let me know. Then outside she had a free, she had a whole bunch of stuff in the lawn that was for free. So my husband picked out some left-handed uh, golf clubs because we're both left-handed. And then he saw these, um, so we're gonna look up these. They look like vintage solo cups. Um, I think maybe some were taken out of it. I don't know, I will have to count. But we'll look this up on eBay and see if it does, if it will do any good, because it was free, who cares. And then I saw a bunch of um, stuffed animals and this guy stuck out to me. He looked vintage and his face is rubber. And I looked at the tag and it says made in Japan. So I just thought he was really cool. I don't like the feeling of his fur right now. Like it's uh, giving me a little heebie jeebies, but it's like bristly. <laughs> but I thought he was so cute. So he will go in my booth for probably like 18 bucks. And I believe that that is everything. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.